In the age of information, you already know that machines have made modern life very convenient and comfortable. New inventions are engineering marvels and are objects of curiosity and enchantment. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at 10 of these amazing machines that you'll want to see in action. All you're required to do is hit that like and subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and watch this video till the very end. This is Big Brain Tech. SAM 100 There are already robots being used to analyze data for law enforcement, so why not have a robot for masonry? A New York-based company has invented a semi automated robot that is able to lay bricks up to four times faster than a human. The semi-automated mason, SAM system, cost $500,000. SAM 100 was made to assist with the strenuous task of lifting and placing brick, increasing the mason's productivity by three through five times the full. In return, time-reducing benefits can reach 80%. And as you very well know, time is money. The system features a robotic arm that is able to pick up bricks, apply mortar, and then lay each brick in the desired location, laying between 800 to 1,200 bricks a day. For you concrete learners, keep in mind that a human mason can lay about 300 to 500 bricks a day only. Overassen TV-1000 The Overassen TV-1000 literally saves everyone from the huge snow problem, specifically in the airports, where surface condition is a crucial factor in landing and takeoff. This snowblower can clear snow depths of up to 2 meters and has casting capability of up to 45 meters. Despite its size, this little giant can run around with a maximum speed of 37 miles per hour. It has also been proven that over a scene TV-1000 can confidently operate even during severe snow conditions in areas where temperatures easily fall below freezing point. With a power of 1,300 horsepower, the over a scene TV-1000 is still easy to maneuver. Furion X-1 Here's a mind-blowing walking exoskeleton that might not change the world, but it will surely add to our entertainment. Originally designed to be the foundation for the formation of the Racing League in the future, this four-legged robot is made entirely of steel, weighing roughly 3.6 tons. Furion X-1 is controlled through its legs and arms by the operator and can stride along the horizon and trounce obstacles along its way. However, developers admitted that as of the moment, the machine is only able to sustain a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour. Although it is primarily being used for entertainment at this moment, you can expect to see this exoskeleton being used by more serious organizations, such as NASA. Sandvik MT-720 Sandvik MT-720 is an electrically powered and crawler-mounted boom-type road header, which is engineered to cut hard an abrasive rock beyond 120 MPA. This tunneling device is explicitly designed to haul up abrasive and hard rocks that average machines can't handle. Its main power supply is generated by electricity instead of a typical fuel injection type which somehow makes it eco-friendly. Nonetheless, it is through this power that its transversal cutter head and its telescopic boom move freely and vigorously at any angle. Another unique feature is its built-in spraying mechanism, which keeps itself and its workers free from being smothered in dust, while the MT-720 is boring into the rock. Jackson 6700 A tamping machine's basic role is to pack ballast under railway tracks to secure their strength and durability and this was once a job that was done by hand that normally led to injuries. Over the years, different types of tamping machines have been invented, but Jackson 6700 is exceptional in its class. Its squeeze-type auto clamper which grips onto the rails is the machine's greatest asset. The Jackson 6700 squeeze-type tamper includes four workhead carriages with hydraulic vibrator mounts that deliver 4,500 VPM in tamping power, making it a highly efficient machine. Badger 288 It might not come as a shock that most jaw-dropping machines are built for the mining industry. Badger 288 is the top dog of them all. This bucket wheel excavator proudly works perfectly in action by moving three-fourths of a million cubic feet of land in a single day despite its colossal size. It's about as big as the Statue of Liberty and has a weight of 13,500 tons. That's equal to 9,000 cars. This monstrous strip mining machine was built in 1978 by a German company named Krupp. Although it's going on its 41st birthday, it hasn't been replaced. So far, no one has been able to design better machines than the Badger 288. It does the job of 10,000 dump trucks in just one day. Caterpillar 797B Known as one of the largest mechanical dump trucks in the entire planet, built for a real-world task, 
the Caterpillar 797B is better known in the industrial and engineering world as Cat 797B. It's the ultra-class mining truck, just one of the giant single tires has a diameter of 13 feet. Its width is at 30 feet and its length is roughly around 47 feet. What's more epic about this truck is the fact that it can sustain a speed of 40 miles per hour, despite its massive weight and humongous size. It was specifically engineered for high production mining and heavy duty construction applications worldwide. Lieber LTM 1200 The Lieber LTM 1200 is a powerful, versatile mobile hydraulic crane with a max lift capacity of 235 tons, which is virtually like lifting the total weight of 12 full sized adult blue whales. The LTM 1200 features an all terrain chassis, making it ideal for driving off road. This machine is one of Lieber's pride because it was a great contributor in building the world's biggest wind turbine by easily lifting three turbine blades at once with a mass of 364 tons each. And also, thanks to its eight-part telescopic boom that measures up to 328 feet when fully extended and a maximum reach of 630 feet or a colossal height of a 50-story building in terms of vertical lifting, LTM 1200 has been officially regarded as a world record holder. It's powered by a water-cooled six-cylinder Lieber diesel engine, which generates up to 370 kilowatts and has a 129-gallon or 488-liter fuel tank. Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 The Overburden Conveyor Bridge F60 is literally so big, it could be used as the fallen Eiffel Tower in a post-apocalyptic science fiction flick. The magnificent machine was built in the 1980s and was designed to be used in open-cast mining in the coal fields of Germany. This 1,600 feet long mobile conveyor bridge can displace approximately 90,000 cubic feet of land in just an hour. The cutting height is 60 meters or 200 feet, hence the name F60. In total, the F60 is up to 80 meters or 260 feet and 240 meters or 790 feet and with a length of 502 meters or 1,647 feet. Although the F60 has long been retired, it is still a frequented tourist attraction. Big Muskie For our last entry, we have yet another pride from the mining industry. Big Muskie is a massive coal mining Bucharest Erie dragline excavator. It weighs 13,500 tons and stands about 22 stories tall. Big Muskie could rip debris away at the rate of 325 tons per bucket load. After serving the mine industry for 25 years, it was retired in 1990 when the mine ceased all operations. So which of these magnificent machines do you favor the most? Sound off in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Until next time.